Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Team Fortress 2. And this time we're pl actually playing one of, uh, I think, one of the most underrated classes, uh, which is the Heavy. And uh, today I'm rolling for you the uh, Sasha uh, minigun, the Sandwich as my secondary, and gotta go fast gloves in my secondary slot, which makes me go about 30% faster. Uh, the Heavy's role is mostly just upright. Uh, he's, he's listed as a defensive class, but he actually has like a lot of roles he can fulfill um but basically in a nutshell uh he's like basically just choose the fuck up out of everything now i don't unfortunately have a medic with me but uh hopefully hopefully maybe it, this medic will come on to me oh well, or not or not okay fine i'll just i'll just eat my sandwich here no you don't you don't get anything so, the best way to play heavy is actually just to kind of spin up around corners like this. And you can just kill pretty much a a anybody. But, uh, you're actually most mostly susceptible to high amounts of DPS. But, the whole thing about heavy is it's... I would not consider it to be a hard class to play. It's actually really, really easy. Uh, because all you have to do is keep the stream of the minigun, uh, targeted onto somebody. Um, like, like, it's just a stream, massive stream of bullets. And you just kind of keep, kind of have to keep that on your target. And you're also very susceptible to crits. Uh, crits are basically the heaviest bane, but I'll get into that. Um, you want to keep the, the stream of mini bullets on your target whenever you see it. And it basically just loads on the DPS very slowly. And this makes it basically a spun up heavy will like absolutely wreck it in every 1v1 situation at close range. Um, the only problem is he can get picked, pecked apart by faster classes like the scout. Um, and you're also a very good surprise ambush class, because look, he, I just came around that corner and basically killed him. I, I'm just, just kind of like wrecking shit up, but once again, like, if I do this like little jump spin technique, uh, which is basically you see me coming around corners, and I jump and spin up, then uh, I get to basically just uh, catch people off guard. And so, uh, one of the things is though, people can actually hear your minigun. So if you're playing a very, uh, here, I'll give him my sandwich. Um, I can I can uh, I can kind of surprise people when they come over here, so I'll kind of just go. I'll just wait right here or not. I guess I'll just spin up around here then. And someone with the Tom slot, but I'll uh, I'll get into that one too. It's 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 a fun class because you kind of you do want to wait for people to come into you because you know coming into this right here is a huge problem for me because uh, you're there's two things that you're very. Uh, the, there's two things that are very problematic for you. Um, the first one being snipers and spies. They both counter you. And any amount of large DPS will counter you. So, like, if lots of people are uh, shooting you all at once, uh, you're not going to be able to do much. So I'm going to go over here, snack on my sandwich, which will heal me back to full health. It's a, it's a terrific, terrific little thing. And I'm gonna actually get some ammo because you actually run out of ammo really quickly. It's it's honestly one of my favorite classes for this reason. It's just uh, I think it's a highly underrated class as well because uh, a lot of people feel you have to have a medic to be effective, and that is true. To do really well, you will need a medic. Uh, but you know, it's I'm not I'm not doing too badly right now. It's just you got to catch people off guard. You got to play completely differently uh, if you're on your own. Now this guy has a weaker version of the minigun than what I have, so I'm just going to continue to run, run towards him, but unfortunately another guy also came came around the corner. Almost got him too though, they, they both have weaker versions of the minigun. Uh, so the Savage basically can be dropped, at, and it acts basically as a medium health pack, but not to you. It used to actually act as a, mini, uh, as a medium health pack to you, but they actually recently changed that, which made me really upset because... Uh, I thought that added a whole lot of, of strategy to... to single heavies because basically what you can do is if you don't need a full health pack then you can kind of just drop a uh dro drop the sandwich for yourself but unfortunately if i drop it i just pick it up again basically and that's it, it doesn't actually heal me anymore i i really wish it would revert that change but you know i i, I can't really do much about that i'm gonna just t take this health pack right here Ah, oh, that fan scout got me. As I said, you get picked apart. Absolutely picked apart. 
Um, so the gloves of running urgently make you run 30% faster, which is invaluable for getting to the front lines. I, I don't really need that right now, so I guess I can go roll something else, like uh, Brass Beast, which is actually the more powerful version of the original minigun, but you move slow as fuck. And um, I don't disapprove of this weapon, actually. You do 20% more damage, but it just you, takes you a little bit longer to spin up, which can be kind of annoying, and especially, like, you kind of get used to the Sasha spin up. Uh, which is so much faster. So, you know, in this case, if if you're playing like a... If you're playing on purpose, like a kind of playstyle, uh... And I got critted again. Uh, if you get kind of... I was gonna die anyways, I had 50 health, so I, I'm not gonna complain about that. But that guy is getting way too many crits. Ends in 10 seconds. Um, this is, uh... This is, a uh, Roll the Dice server. Well, I'm gonna go somewhere else right after this. But yeah, so Brass Beast is pretty good. It's, uh, it's not so bad. It's, um, uh, like, as I said, it, it's, it, depending upon the situation, if you need to dodge a lot of enemy fire, then I wouldn't recommend it, because uh, the 20% bonus is not as great as you think, not as much as mobility. But anyways, yeah, so let me go find another server. Okay, I decided to roll some, uh, Gold Rush, my favorite kind of payload. Anyways, um, one thing to note about the, uh, the miniguns is that the heavier your minigun, uh, like the bigger the bigger the gun, uh, basically the more uh, the more you'll be able to beat. If like if two heavies with the same amount of health come spinning up around a corner, uh, then then the one with the, the more damaging heavy gun will win. And I just killed him. So that's that's something that's important to note uh, based upon the tools you bring. So you may actually want to uh, to can to cancel out and actually start going some like with something else. Like here I can't. I basically, there's going to be snipers watching here, so this is not a good place for me. So I'm going to kind of like hang around here. You're my good team. Fortunately, that mic's not going to follow me around. I'm not, as, I'm not someone who wants to heal. I'm going to be very susceptible to spam, unfortunately, so I'm going to just kind of run away now. And with this, I can basically get the, this health, and I think I saw someone following me. But, nope, there was a spy directly behind me, so I died. Um, so that's pretty much it for the Brass Beast. Um, you know, it's okay if you're playing defensively, but you have to be spun up a lot, so I wouldn't really roll it. Um, there's also the, the Hulong Heater. And I guess I'll start switching up my melee to the, the Fist of Steel. And the Heater is basically identical to Sasha in every way, except for the fact that you get like a little, little ring of fire. Which I guess helps against spies. I mean, if the spies are running the little spicicle thing, then it's possible you're gonna reset their melee. So like if you're having spy trouble, I guess this could help. The problem with this one is, um, with this minigun, is it's basically very... I like that, I like that medic. Um... <laughs> Aww! Okay, well, anyways, the, the problem with, um, sorry, the problem with the Hulong Heater is it's wasting ammo as you, as you have it spun up. So, you know, and already as it is, the Heavy has enough fucking problems as it is with, uh, with health, so, you know. I, I don't know if I would recommend it. And I didn't even set him on fire, like, the bonus is not that great. So, like, I'm just gonna get shot up by, like, everybody. And maybe, maybe I don't want to actually fight this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run away from that. And even then I couldn't do very much about that. So, you know, the heater, I don't know about that. It's just It's it's weird, it's a weird weapon. The the fist of steel though kinda gives you a bit of utility. If you have like a teleporter, I guess it's kinda nice. I have fire too. Unfortunately the Hulong heater doesn't give me any kind of immunity to that. Yeah, I guess I'll just like destroy his stickies here. Nope. Fortunately, you see, as I have it spun up, uh, I'm basically just getting my ass shot, and a sniper just shot me. So, you know, I'm, I'm we're kind of like at a at a at a at a standstill here. We can't really move in here and help out. And I just removed. There you go. I just removed his uh his little spicicle thing. So, you know, it can be a little bit a little bit of a pain in the ass. I'm gonna just take this health back, despite the fact that I have a medic. It's okay. 
I don't know. I wouldn't recommend it. The the Fist of Steel, though. Uh, you know, I can't I can't really say that it's a um, it's a bad idea because it is actually a pretty good idea. I mean, it's it's you basically you have it out. You take less damage. I can I just troll the sniper and go. Hey, you missed me. What the fuck? Well, anyways, um, you won't die by sniper shots. So if you're trying to run back to the front lines. Uh, you know, you can't go wrong. Fortunately, I think we're about to die. The, don't under, um, don't underestimate the minigun's range, though. But, uh, if, like, multiple people come knocking on your door, then obviously you're not gonna be able to do much. It doesn't help that this team is like, well, we have two heavies now. So that's okay. Uh, I'm not gonna bother swapping out right now, because we're about to lose, so... That's okay. And we lose. Have you get some nice taunt kills though? This is not a taunt kill though. It's the one where it goes pow. It's uh actually some of the boxing gloves, weirdly enough, give you gives you that. Okay, so Okay, well, I uh, changed maps to uh to some dust bowl, unfortunately, but whatever, we'll do it anyways. Um I'm playing on defense because the uh, heavy class is always better on defense, and I guess I'll roll the shotgun now, and um, most of these malays I'll talk about, like, um, the gloves are the best, the warrior spirit are good for uh, if you just want to do malays and just screwing around. That's what a lot of these malays do, these are much faster, this is a much faster malay. Uh, this is one that, uh, if you hit someone from behind, it forces them to laugh, so that's kind of fun. So we'll bring that along. I'm also going to bring along the shotgun instead of the sandwich, which is, um, I don't know, you, you also get, you also get, um, a chocolate bar, which is not too good, and there's also another shotgun with more clip size on it. Basically, you would use this because you're you don't want to spin up. Uh, I guess it goes good with the brass beast if you just want to shotgun the shit out of stuff. Um, but nowadays, I think that if you're using Sasha, it doesn't really matter. But it's it's basically like a standard shotgun. You know, like my can aim it and everything like that. Like it's it basically comes like that. Is he still here? No. So if you if you're susceptible to spies or something, you can use that. Um, as for Natasha, I'm gonna get smoked by that heavy that's coming down. It basically forces people to slow down. They can't run away from you. That's the whole idea. Um, I don't like it because the damage decrease is too. It's too big of a deal. Basically, um, it's not. It's not worth using. How's that? I'm, I'm looking at him like he's got his like main mini gun out. Fortunately, I'm just gonna get killed by everything. But with that, I, I basically have to, I have to run up to people and uh, and like I can't heal with the sandwich anymore because I'm, I'm specifically using the shotgun. Um, as I said, it's a very, it's a, it's an odd setup. The Natasha though used to be really powerful. Like if you hit them once, it'd be basically be slowed down. It would even work for long range. It'd be the most irritating thing in the world. But now it's basically based upon the damage you do instead, um, which is like not terrific. Um, like it's yeah, it's it's just it's not worth using anymore. Uh, the holiday punch though is, is a hilarious uh, weapon. But unfortunately, if I have the shotgun, I I absolutely have to have to t eat the health. And now now there's no healing anymore, so. I think I saw an engineer set up somewhere, so... And that's it, I'm dead. So, that's kind of the problem, and if I hadn't died by him, I would've died by a spy. You are so damn slow that this is why, like, spies and snipers are basically your bane. They both counter you. It's the only class with two... Well, they're soft counters, though, because, you know, if you turn around at the right, what, right time and anticipate spy attacks, and sure, or you have a medic that's communicating with you, that also works pretty well. Um, I want to get a holiday punch on somebody, but we're all losing now. So with that, I guess I'll just, uh, spin up here. Like a demo, like, right over there. I feel I shouldn't actually leave the point, because, uh... I'm gonna see if I can just kind of range him, just to kind of slow him down a little bit. It's not gonna slow him down a whole lot. So, you know, it's good against scouts or something, I guess. Um as well, but as I said, you chew up scouts. It, all you have to do is, uh... And I'm just gonna die now. Well, that's pretty much it for that. 
Nagi had set on fire and not do anything about it. Um, I don't know. I'm not much into the Natasha. You're basically sacrificing way too much damage. To be honest though, the Natasha will still pretty much destroy everything up close. But you want to do it faster to get to get the, make them do less DPS to you up front. So I don't even know. Um, I guess we'll swap it up, even though like we're we're about to lose. That's okay. We'll uh, we'll go to something more of, along the lines of the Tom's Love, and uh, we'll actually bring along uh, bring along the the Sandwich here. Now Tom's Love is actually probably one of the better uh, ambushing weapons because you can actually wait for people. Uh, that's kind of the point of the Tom Slav. Like, uh, there's no spin up sound. I'm spun up right now, and so basically the whole idea is I can just kind of wait for people to come to to me. But I sacrifice a lot of damage. So it is kind of like it's more of a strategical heavy that people aren't expecting a spun up heavy. However, you do once again you sacrifice DPS, but it does allow for way better ambushing because you you are pretty much. Um, even though I see crits, I don't get crits. Um, you're, you're you're pretty much just so much like more able to uh, uh, just kind of wait, wait, lie and wait. Uh oh, kill this guy! There you go. <laughs> Medic didn't look like he was gonna do it. Now, unfortunately, it makes you less powerful at the same time. Wow. Okay. I. Just saw a guy in my peripheral vision, and uh, he didn't stab me. Now I don't have many options here. Um, it has a slightly faster spin-up time, uh, but you know, you, there's not much you can do with regards to that. It's heavy as being being really nice to me. And so you know, they don't expect me to be spinning up right now, but I can spin up all I want. Oh, and there's uh, this guy right here. I got the heavy to laugh, uh, and which basically kind of just fucks them up. It's it's a funny ass it's a funny ass weapon. There you go. I'll heal you. Let's see if we can get this pyro. Damn it! Get, come down here. Oh, fine. Uh, this guy's gonna die. Oh, I didn't have my sandwich out for him. Now, unfortunately, when when you have really low DPS like you do with the Tomslav, um, the upside to it being that you can you can ambush people, but the downside is uh, people people will often if you have these sh these well even if you have the minigun they think they can take you on, uh, and they'll try and take you out as soon as humanly possible. So that's that's like the main downside to it, um, and it's why I probably wouldn't recommend it. So you know, let's do some for fun builds now. Just basically, I'm gonna have the Tomslav, uh, the Buffalo Sandwich, and the Warrior Spirit. And so what this one will do is, uh, when I have the steak, I run faster with it. You just take a little snack and uh, you get mini crits and faster faster movement speed. 30% faster to be exact. You know, I kind of wonder how fast I'll move if I, uh, if I roll the, uh, 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 the, the gloves of running urgently. So this is, you know, this is, we're, we're now getting into kind of the joke stuff. Because uh, really, you know, Heavy is kind of useless for Malay, uh, no matter how you put it. Because he's a big, fat hitbox. And I wouldn't recommend using something that removes 20 of your life, which is basically 30 effective health if you have a medic. But we'll see, we'll see if we can get some kills with this, why not? Oh god. Yeah, nope, that's not going to happen. The Pyro is the direct counter this, to this. They have like at least two pyros, which is pretty much yeah. The, all they have to do is press the mouse two, and then you know, well there goes my my heavy punching build. And we could we could also go like uh, instead of this one. This one does like this one's actually a lot of damage. The the warrior spirit actually. I'll try one more time. Um, unfortunately, there's no way for me to quickly move to the front lines. It looks like we're we're getting destroyed here, anyways. There's no way for me to quickly move to the front lines, so I don't know. I'm just kind of fucked. I'm hoping are they not gonna are they not gonna cap that? So I have the Tom Slav for like the faster charge up time. Unfortunately, 
if I even if I eat the eat the thing, it's not gonna give me any it's not gonna give me any food. So that's that's kind of the unfortunate part. But as I said, it's still it's still it's still worth like the joke. Like just kinda like it it's probably like if it's just a for fun belay build. There's probably like so many better ones. And like he just killed himself to so basically kill me. Okay, we'll do like one more. Uh, we'll do one more with the eviction notice. Fortunately, mini crits with the holiday punch don't do anything, or else I'd ro roll that all the time. Actually, let's see. Let's see how gotta go fast punching heavy goes. It seems like the worst idea, but if if my math is correct, I should be going as fast as a scout. I don't feel like I'm going as fast as a spy. Well, that uh, that totally failed. <laughs> Sorry, not as not as fast as a spy, as fast as a scout. All right, well, I guess the last one is like the eviction notice, and then I guess I'm done being useless. Then I'll actually go minigun heavy and talk about some other shit. It it, it looks like it's just dust bowl here. Okay, looks like we just lost, so that's that's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go find another server. These people kind of suck. <laughs> 